And welcome back. Our next guest is the executive producer and on-air host of the Italian American Podcast. He joins us to speak about the podcast and the work that he is doing to uplift the Italian American community. So please welcome to the show, John Viola. John, welcome. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Happy to see you. Um, you're doing so many things. I hear about you. I hear about the work that you're doing. It's and we thank news. you for doing that. Thank you. And you also became the youngest president of the uh, the Italian American uh, podcast. Well, the National Italian American Foundation. Yeah. Prior to this, yeah, mm -hmm. prior to the podcast, and uh, I was there for six years uh, in Washington D.C. How was that? It was interesting. You know, it's interesting to work in ethnic affairs, uh, particularly in a sort of post assimilation ethnic experience, and yeah. and D.C. is a tough town sometimes. Oh, you know? sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not necessarily part. the easiest place. Yeah. 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 So uh, then you came back and uh, you said, hey, you, you know what? Let me start this uh, Italian-American podcast. Well, I came back and intended to go into a different line of work completely. I had felt, you know, I spent a lot of time in the Italian-American community. And uh, some colleagues that I knew who had started this podcast saw it really grow rapidly and then kind of had to professionalize it. And I had the opportunity to jump in and take over the platform and hopefully uh, keep it going for a long time. Beautiful, beautiful. And so where are we going to go with this? Well, that's a great question. So we, uh, we're we actually moving our operations now that we're kind of post-pandemic into a new studio at oh. the corner of Mulberry Street and Grand in the All heart right. of Manhattan's yeah. Little Italy. And we're hoping to start to see shows that are both Italian-American and non-Italian-American about different cultural and ethnic experiences in the U.S. Yeah. And so that led you to become the producer, the executive producer and host of the Italian-American podcast. Yeah, I, I came in uh, three or four years ago and uh, had no, no idea about podcasting, broadcasting, any of this amazing yeah. stuff. And What's this podcast stuff all about? I, you know, so. I, I was totally flummoxed by it and then started to understand how dedicated the audiences can be, how intimate the relationship is, how people can, you know, skip a week or so and then come back and listen. They have yeah. families listening together. It's amazing, really. Yeah. You know, it reminds me of uh, the old time broadcast on AM radio. Yes. That was a podcast. Yes, then. basically it is yeah. a podcast. It's a radio yeah, yeah. AM in your pocket. Exactly. Yeah. And so you have a lot of listeners. We do. We a got a very, followers. very big uh, following. We've been able to branch out into videos on yeah. YouTube. And uh, yeah, we're, we're doing really well, I have to say. Talk about some of the topics. What can we hear? Well, we try to do everything from kind of the fun to the serious. So in some weeks, it's going to be basically a communal therapist couch to understand why we Italian Americans are what we are. Some weeks it's food, travel, history, culture, music, uh, current events, politics. We, we try to run the gamut. Anything that touches in Italian American life or history. So when you're talking about food and things of that nature, do you bring some of the professionals up there that, uh, or you speak to some of the... We do. Yeah, we try to. We try to bring people, now that we're going back in the studio, we've got a nice little setup where we can also do video and uh, we'll have some of our professional chefs that we usually interview by phone in and hopefully we can cook together yeah. and uh, you know feed the right on the, the set. crew yeah right on yeah, the set you right know? on the set we, we people are gonna be at home salivating we <laughs> hope so yeah we hope so we we always find that the audience responds they yeah. like when we eat on on the podcast if yeah. we got homemade wine because it's familiar you know yeah. can you cook I can. I, I like to cook, yeah. So they'll probably get you uh, to participate on the set. I hope so, yeah. I hope so. I, <laughs> it's hard to resist. Shows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no professional, but I do my best. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got to know how to, you know, just mix it up. <laughs> yeah. I think every Italian fancies themselves a cook, even if they're not very good. I think yeah. we think it's in our DNA somewhere. Where do you hope to go here? Would you, how, how do you think you want to reach out to get more uh, viewers or more followers? Well, we, we certainly are expanding into video. That's a, a big mm -hmm. part of podcasting now is having both broadcasts. But also, for me, I'd like to see if we can't find the right young talent to seed similar shows about other experiences in the country, mm -hmm. other ethnic groups, because I think that there, there's so many similarities that we don't necessarily see mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And so if you can kind of uh, create multiple platforms, I think it'll reveal the similarities of the American experience. Yeah. That's what we'd like to do. Beautiful. Now, you have something that you're working on, the American Leaders Conference? Yeah, we're working on the Italian American Future Leaders Conference. We're going to be in Wash uh, Washington. We're going to be in Florida. It, it'll probably be <laughs> yeah, like, I'm so used to Washington. No, yeah. but we're, we're going to seed these future leaders in Fort Lauderdale, actually. Uh, yeah. We're going down there uh, January 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th 
uh, over the Martin Luther King weekend. We'll yeah. be in Florida with about 120 young Italian Americans who have an interest in the future of the community. And so it'll be a kind of a lock in yeah. uh, and do some work and look at where the community is, where it's come from, where it's going. Hey, Mike, you hear that? Uh, maybe we get some of our producers to come down there. And we would love it. Yeah, pictures absolutely. And, and cover it. Yeah, it'd be great. We would love it. We're looking forward great. to it. Yeah. What is your greetings uh, from um, the Italian American series about? So Greetings from Italian America is our YouTube series where we, my, my co-host and I crisscross the country looking at the communities where the Italian culture has been seeded and thrived and some everything from right here on Arthur Avenue where we were two Christmases ago to places that people don't expect like uh, Tonti Town, Arkansas, which was a community founded mm -hmm. by 45 Italian families 150 years ago and still thriving in the wine industry. And so, yeah, we travel all over the country wherever Italian American culture uh, reveals itself. Beautiful. John, let's take a look. Ciao, Paisani, and greetings from Italian America. Now, you guys know we are three proud East Coast Italians, but every month we are going to take you across this great country of ours to explore the Italian side of America. So why don't you tell us what's so special about the San Pedro fish market? Chris, you spent 20 years in this little Italy? 20 years. It's uh, what we are trying to recreate here at Farinolio, the idea of the Italian piazza. You want to see us make fresh mozzarella? Absolutely. I'm in my kitchen. There's a magic, and I, I absolutely love that. It gets me out of bed at 4 in the morning <laughs> to get here to work and to cut salami. And this is what I want to carry on and share with you. You look like you want to say something. <laughs> no, no he wants a on. He's I'm done. Eat. That is the greatest Italian show ever created. What are we going to go eat now? We're, gonna... We're not eating for a no, while. Eating, no, no, I can't. I, I, can't. I can't. I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. We're eating. I'm done. John, what about that? What so that's a that? little insight into our adventures. Just around. a little touch. Yeah, just a little bit. A little sample <laughs> of what we do. And uh, everything else is on YouTube. And it's a, it's a great program. We it love it. It makes you feel at home, though. It, really it does. does. Yeah. yeah. It, I find no matter where I go in the country, because I'm so attached to my heritage, I find communities where people have had totally different experiences than, yeah. than me here in New York, but uh, you just feel connected right away. And I think that's beautiful. I felt that. It gave yeah. me the chills, too. <laughs> that's very kind of you. Well, I didn't know you were Paisan. That's uh, now I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mother's from, uh, from Italy, Naples. <clears throat> Do you have any events coming up? Uh, other than the big youth conference, we really don't have anything on the calendar at the moment. We're building away at this new studio. Uh -huh. And hopefully when that's open, probably in the spring, it's going to be in the building of the Italian American Museum. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we'll start to do events there and hopefully have some book readings and uh, you know different classes and stuff. So we're looking forward to getting back out again. And when you speak of uh, Little Italy, especially the one in the city by Mulberry Street, you can't forget about the San Gennaro Feast. No, nah, I still think the San Gennaro Feast is one of the best events. It's and it's best. in New York. You know, it's not just an Italian American community event anymore. It's all New Yorkers, right? right? Yeah. It, it's a part of the culture of the city at this point. That's right. And you see the boogie down Bronx there. We have a little Italy here. In the Bronx, I lived too. there for five years. There you go. Yeah, I lived on uh, Hoffman Street, right next to Arthur Avenue, for five years, and yeah, yeah. spent a lot of time with my pal David Greco at Mike's Deli. Uh, I, I, I could, I go there for my Christmas shopping. I'll be there next week. Yeah, well, I'll probably see you over. There. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be running up and down, trying to support all the different businesses yeah, by yeah. one pastry here, cookies there. You know. Oh, yeah. sucks. Yeah. You know, and we we try to uh, slim down just a little bit before the holidays. Not and... the easiest thing. I'm I'm failing at that miserably. Everybody wants to have Christmas parties now that we're all back in person. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, no no diets right now. So uh, when you get back into it uh, with the podcast, um, what do you, what's the first series that you're going to work on? Uh, when we come back into the video stuff, we're going to be, right now we're trying to get a uh, production in Italy. So yeah. we're hopeful that we In can, Italy? In Italy, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we want to take what we've done and 
look at some of the endangered cultural aspects of Italy, you know, in a yeah. global world, we gain a lot and people yeah. see all kinds of Instagram images of these wonderful places. But then that's what they start to expect. That's what starts to get catered to them. So there's a lot of endangered culture yeah. in places like Italy and here and all over the world. So we want to start to highlight some of That'd those. Be wonderful. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Yeah. If we could pull it off, it'd be really great. I'm have to take a little trip with you. Well, you'd be more, <laughs> we could use your expertise for sure, because none of us are professionals. We're just learning how to do this. So you'd be a great mentor for us. Great, great, great. We'll set it up. You hear that, Mike? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Send them over. We'll take them. <laughs> That's great. Where do you go from here? How are you going to celebrate your holidays? I'm going to go to Arthur Avenue and get all my fish and uh, my pastries and stuff. So we'll be <laughs> up in Westchester. My wife and uh, daughter and I just moved there. My in-laws are here in the Bronx. My parents are coming up from Florida, and we're all going to be at our house. So it's my first time in our new house. Host. I've been cooking since I was 18. But now I'm going to be cooking in my own kitchen, not my mom's, and we'll see. Should we all come over? Yeah, you're more than welcome. We have an open door policy for Christmas <laughs> Eve. It's a big day for us. I can eat well. Yeah, yeah I hope so. <laughs> if you don't, don't tell me. I don't. I don't, I don't want it to be deflated. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got you uh, covered. Uh, where can we go to find out more about you on social media, website? You can visit us on ItalianAmericanPodcast.com. We're on all of the social media channels. Usually, it's at Italian American. Uh, on YouTube, we're at Italian American. And uh, yeah, visit our website. We've got 260 mm. episodes in our archive and a lot to dig into. So you you won't get bored. There you go. Executive producer and on-air on air host, Italian American podcast, John Viola. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. Your house is my house and vice versa. Same here. Absolutely. Yeah, you're more <laughs> okay. welcome. We're coming to eat. We'll take a quick break right here. We've got more open coming up next. <laughs> 